All right, and we are live. Good morning, everybody, from the Rancho Kitchen. It is October 21st, Sunday, 2018. It is 9.15 a.m. Pacific Daylight Savings Time. P.D. ST and welcome to all of you to another live stream event uh, We got here Vanessa. Hi, baby doll. Hey, Jeremy. How are you time to make some scones today? I'm gonna get my ingredients together here sugar milk flour butter raisins Stewie what's up my friend? Love my Stewie we're going to get some raisins together. We're going to get all of our ingredients together. I'm going to use this called the Kitchen kitchen Genius Recipe here. Good morning, everybody. Uh, two and a half cups of flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, eight tablespoons of cold butter cut up. We're not going to add salt to it because I'm using salted butter. Okay, and a, a quarter cup of granulated sugar two-thirds of a cup of milk so it's going to be an easy recipe the real trick of this is and like this is my big hair scones today <laughs> I love it the real trick is going to be incorporating the butter into hello ginger Scottish how are you baby Kelly how are you the real trick is going to be incorporating the butter into the uh, flour Keeping that nice and cold. Thank you. Yeah, man, in the house. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get two and a half cups of uh, butter. We'll have plenty of time to chat. <laughs> two and a half cups of flour. I mean, let's go ahead and get our measures here. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Got yeah, man in the house. And uh, let's see, I'm trying to find all my cup measures here. God, it's like a fucking mess in this, <laughs> in this kitchen. Uh, I lost your number when I reset my phone. Uh, I don't know, just Gmail me and I'll email you back. Uh, good morning. Uh, you, Ginger, I owe you an apology bringing back big hair. One, one live stream at a time, baby. That's what I'm doing in the kitchen. All right, here we go, and I'm sorry I wasn't on last night. Had too much to do here with laundry and everything else, so I was not on any live streams last night. Uh, we'll have plenty coming up. Space Girl from Planet Triple X on uh, Tuesday night. We'll have plenty, plenty of live streams. So welcome to all of you, Kelly. Hope you're doing good. Um, just Gmail me. I can make it like new, and I'll send you my phone number again. Okay. Two and a half cups. You guys really can't. Uh, you'll forgive me this time. Thank you, Jeremy. There we go. Two and a half cups of flour. Okay. Right there. Uh, I was very rude on Mom Bear's birthday. No worries, Ginger. Hey, look, I'm not that kind of person. Okay. I am not that kind of person. Let me see if I got a different scone recipe here. Um, I like the ones from. There was one here. King Arthur flour. That's the one I like to use. Let's run with the King Arthur flour one, and I will put the link in the description box. Our internet's slow today. Have to reset our browser. I don't owe me anything. Hey Cheryl, how are you? Sam Telfer, bringing back big hair, one live stream at a time, honey. Uh, hope you're doing okay. Hope your babe is doing good. Let's back that up. Hey Diamond, nice to see you. I'm just getting the recipe I want to use. The internet is so slow here today. I preheated the oven to 400 here, by the way. So. Come on, son of a bitch. Let's go. God almighty. There we go. All right. Two and th well, they got two and three quarter cups. So we'll put that up one more quarter cup. We're going to use the King Arthur recipe. Okay. 
let's take it up to two and three quarter because I think King Arthur is excellent stuff. So, all right, there's two and three quarter cups of flour there. Hope you all having a good day. October 21st. Almost had to put the. It's a little chilly here, especially compared to San Diego. Let's put that aside over there. I got my counter super clean. I'm glad to resubscribe with you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the younger Ginger's okay, huh? Ginger's a doll baby, isn't she? Ginger's sweet too. All right. Oh, baking. All right, one third of a cup of sugar. We're gonna add that in. Okay. Yeah, Ginger's Ginger's a hottie. One third of a cup of sugar. Pour that in. I'm just adding that in the mixing bowl. You need a tablespoon of baking powder. Make sure once in a while. Ash, how you doing, baby? Let's see, she said, lovely. Loving the Tammy. Yeah, the Tammy Wynette. Stand by your man. Do, 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 do. Bringing big hair back one live stream at a time, baby. Uh, let's see. Let's get the baking powder out. Uh, I did this because uh, Sam Telfer requested the big hair return today. Hi, y'all. Welcome into the kitchen. I'm not the pioneer woman. <laughs> Thank you, kitten. Kitty Barnett. Thank you, honey. Everybody, you know, I got so many messages. Rosie, stay the hell out of the kitchen and get the hell on the streets. We love those street live streams. Especially when there's a chance you might get killed. Here's one tablespoon of baking powder. Make sure you use fresh baking powder, okay? You need a haircut, Stewie. Harvey, how you doing? SKG, what's going on, my friend? Let's put that away. So we got, uh, we got the sugar, two and three quarter cups of King Arthur flour, one third of a cup of sugar. We don't need to put salt because we're using uh, salted butter. One tablespoon of baking powder, okay? And we're going to get some dried fruit too. We're going to need a half a cup to two thirds of a cup of dried wood milk. We want to make sure our counter is clear here. I've already cleaned it off really well. We're going to need two eggs too. Let's mix our dry ingredients together. Oh, I'm hungry. Where in the hell? There's mine. You got to have a good whisk. Stewie, imagine the fun we could have with that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got the great ash and ash. I'm mixing that together real well. Just make sure you use fresh baking powder, okay? A lot of people put baking powder away. They rarely bake with it, and then they go to use it. They don't get the leavening that they should that they should out of it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We're gonna get some vanilla extract out too. We're going to have that ready to go. Missy Jen's going to go shopping and then by the time she comes back they should be ready to go. Let's see. I guess Jen I could use a couple two or three sodas too if that's not on your list. Alright, so we're going to do the wet ingredients in a separate bowl here. In this case we'll use a pot. Stand by your man. Do 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 do. <laughs> All right. Gonna... George, you gonna go riding, huh? George, George is gonna go riding. I'm gonna break two eggs into a pot here. We're gonna combine our wet ingredients here. Damn, that was freaky. I thought that egg didn't have a yolk for. I thought that egg didn't have a yolk for a second. Hey, Bailey, how are you? Bob Bailey in the house. 
tis the season of a wonderful life. Okay, we got our egg in there. We're gonna use. I'm just. I'm doing my wet ingredients separate. Two large eggs. We're gonna use. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. How about that? Put that in with your eggs. Right in there. Oh. Hey Gina, how are you? Douglas Fairchild. You want to visit the rancho? You're always welcome to come and visit. Okay, and we're going to use uh, how much? one cup of dried fruit. We do have some raisins. I don't know where in the hell the currants went. I had some currants too. Don't know where in the hell they went. Oh, here they are. Zante currants. I'm going to use a quarter of a cup of currants. Well, I'm going to have them sitting on the side first. I got to cut in my butter here. Okay. Welcome everybody. Doing a little baking today. A little impromptu baking. Later on, if it's sunny, I'll be hanging out in all the right places outside. Because Wednesday is going to be the big day for hanging up uh, Halloween lights. Hey, JK, nice to see you. Am I glad to be back? Not really. I wish I was on the beach in San Diego. That's where I wish I was. But I am back. All right, let's get a half a cup of cold butter. like a half a stick here. There we go, half a stick. Now this is salted, so I'm not going to put salt into the uh, into the uh, recipe here, okay? We're making some raisin currant scones today. I'm going to drop that right, boom. And you want this really cold. You don't want this melted at all, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and get a couple knives and start to cut that up a little bit, all right? is make sure your butter is really cold then just start to break that into small pieces. In France when they tell you to cut it in the butter and you go to cooking school they, they put two knives in your hand that's it okay they don't give you any food processor any of that okay so we're going to break these into smaller pieces then we're going to start cutting that in just taking the knives like that cutting in that butter okay very important is a good start because then we're going to come behind with our pastry cutter here. Now we're going to cut that in real good. Hey Ellie, got my pastry cutter. So they want to make sure you're all trained up on the knife technique. Okay. We're getting these into kind of small pieces here. Ellie, sorry I didn't make it in last night between laundry and everything else. Stuff with George was a little screwed up last night too. So get this small enough that I can use the pastry cutter here. Okay, hello Nicole, how are you? Good morning. i just take my pastry cutter like that and just start cutting that in. Working that really well. Okay, it might come up out of it, just push it. This thing is wonderful. I didn't feel like hauling out the food processor today. You don't want to overwork it. You want to keep this really cold, okay? I'm working that in really good. Yeah, I got a garbage disposal. I do. I sure do. I put it in myself, uh, Stewie. You can see my videos. The one called uh, 
renovating the rancho my five year journey. I took this whole place right down to the studs. Did the plumbing, did the electrical, did the drywall, ceiling lights, the works. Okay. All right, so that's really good. That's all cut really well. That's looking good. Okay. Now I'm going to put uh, some raisins. I got some currants and some raisins. Currants are kind of, currants aren't really used that much in this country. I'm never sure if I really like currants or not. They're okay. I'm going to put half a cup of currants in. Oh, you like the shorts, huh? Thank you. Sorry, I couldn't make it in last night, Nicole. I had a little trouble with George and was doing laundry. Half a cup of currants going. Before I knew it, it was 11.30 at night. All right, and then one cup of, half a cup of raisins in here. These will be nice raisin currants. Scones, we're gonna take our big spoon and mix them around. As soon as these go in the oven, I'll be able to talk to you guys a little more. Mix them around real good. And there's our mixtures all looking good. We're going to start with a half a cup of milk. We're going to whisk that into our... We got two eggs here. Yeah, we're gonna use, we got our ex, vanilla extract, two eggs. Okay, we're gonna get our pastry brush too. We're gonna get a half a cup of milk now. We may need a little more. We're gonna bring this together and then roll this out on the counter a little bit and cut these scones. Yeah, this ain't no big deal. Six wedges, okay. We're gonna add our milk in now. Half a cup of milk. We're gonna whisk that into our eggs and vanilla here. Get that incorporated. Hope you're all having a good Sunday in the kitchen. Missy Jen's out doing a little shopping, so wanted to make her a treat today. Let's go ahead and whisk that together really well. Now we're going to go ahead and combine these. We're going to put a little well. We're going to make a little hole in the center of our dry ingredients and start adding our wet in there. You don't want to satch, you want to try to evenly distribute the liquid. We may need to add a little more milk. Let's see. Again, go ahead and combine that all together. Just like so. Okay. Don't want to overwork this or you'll have a very tough scone. Okay. Pretty good. Want to make sure it holds together. I think that's going to be okay. We're going to turn this out on the counter and work this a little bit. Okay, just work it a little more. Make sure your hands are nice and washed here. Good and clean. I'm just evenly distributing all the liquid into the flour mixture. Just like so. Hey ladies here, I know how to do that. It has more energy than anyway. Yeah, I enjoy I enjoy being high energy, that's for sure. I'm gonna turn this out here. 
make sure you get all of your ingredients combined together so you don't have any dry in there, okay? Looks pretty good just like that. I'll bet Ash, I'll bet Ash knows how to do it. See if we can get a little piece of uh, parchment here. A little bit of parchment paper. Good morning! How are you? It's Francis. I'm in the kitchen. How are you? Turn this out on our paper here. Let's see if we can work that. Make sure you get all of that goodness out of the pot. Let's see if we can turn this out on the counter and work this a little bit. Oh, focus. There we go. Good morning. How are you? It's Francis. I'm just kind of working that together. The parchment makes it really nice. But you know what? It kind of sucks too. I think I'd rather have a floured surface here. So hold on one second. I'm going to pop some flour down and work these. Wash my hands off. I'd rather work these. Parchment's a little difficult to work it on. Keep your hands nice and clean. Alright. Let's get our rolling pin out too. Alright. Let's flower the counter and turn this out. I'm much better at working direct. I'm making myself hungry. Hey, large beast. Good morning to you. All right, let's turn that out on the counter. Just like so. Okay. That looks pretty good, eh? Focus, focus, focus. Focus, focus. Turn that out on the counter and work that a little bit. Don't need to work it too much. You need these things to be soft. If you overwork this, then you're going to have a very tough scone, okay, instead of a tender one. And we're going to roll this into about uh, half an inch to three quarters of an inch thick here, okay? that look pretty good? I think that looks good. Make sure to roll it to the edge is good. Keep it uniform when you roll it out, okay? Now I'm going to cut this. I'm going to use my pastry cutter here. The other thing you can use too is a pizza cutter. That works brilliantly too. I'm going to sit half of that as side and I'm going to roll this out into like a circle. I still need my pastry cutter. This is your bench scraper here. Okay. Work that up, throw a little more flour under it. We're going to we're going to roll two two, two separate uh, semicircles here, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect, perfect circles. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going, to, we're going to grease our baking pan a bit. Let me go ahead and get the spray here. Let's go ahead and cut these.
How's that look? Some nice sized scones right there. Put them on our baking sheet. Give them a little room to rise. Three. And then Jen will have something to eat for breakfast. Five. Six. Looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and do our other. Nice cut in there. What do you think of that, Nicole? Nicole does that, that Asian baking. I do the English baking here. Funny, huh? Give that a little bit of a roll. Just keeping that even. You can see the bits of butter in there. Let me turn that around a minute. You can still see that it has bits of butter in there. Looks pretty nice, huh? There's our scones on the sheets. You can have them a little thicker or a little thinner. I like them a little on the thinner side because that guarantees that they'll cook. Yeah, I saw ATX last night she was around. Okay. Roll that out a little bit. Remember, we hardly we you don't want to overwork these things or they become tough, okay? All right, some more little scones there. Trying to get these all on. I'd like to do these on one sheet if possible. They're going to expand a little bit too. Get one more there. Let's see if we can get one more on here. Okay. They'll expand a bit, but that's basically the idea. We've got a tray of these. Now we're going to get a little bit of, uh, we're going to brush these with a little milk and we're going to top these with some turbinado sugar on them. Okay, looking pretty good, huh? So let me get my brush. It's good to have a little bit of a pastry brush. I use a, a brush from the hardware store, a really good quality Blue Hawk, because it's made better quality than pastry brushes, okay? It holds up better. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of milk and brush these now. Just a little bit of milk, just enough on the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to wet the, get the brush wet, brush the top of these. It will help glaze them up a little bit. A lot of scone recipes, they don't use egg. This one's kind of unusual, so you're using a one full tablespoon of baking powder. You put eggs in that resists lift, but okay. Let's go ahead and take our turbinado sugar here. here we go. Hey Tara, good morning, honey. Let's go ahead and shake this on. Sugar the top of our scones here. I'll bring you guys in for a look at them. They are they are ready to go. Let's take a look at them. They are all sugar jaded. How you doing, honey? Hello, this girl's journey, fruit pig, everybody. Oh, uh, thank you, Scott. I'm bringing big hair back. One live stream at a time. Uh, I'm going for that 1950s. Uh, Jaded, it was fun seeing you uh, last night. We were cleaning up and doing stuff, and I had, uh, had you on early there from your farm. That was pretty cool. All right, let's check our bake time here on these. Stand by your man. All right. About three quarters of an inch thick. Ours are about a half an inch. 
They say for best texture, you can place this pan of scones in the freezer for 30 minutes. It relaxes the gluten, which makes the scones more tender and allows them to rise higher. It also chills the fat, which makes it... Uh... Yeah, why don't we put these in the freezer for a little bit, huh? Let's cover these. You're supposed to cover. Let's, let's try this out, huh? That sounds very interesting. We don't have to go the full half hour. Let's put these in for about uh, let's put these in for about ten minutes or so, okay? Let's let these chill down for ten minutes. Okay. Kind of interesting. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee with you guys. All right. Let's let those chill for ten minutes. Let's give this a try. I'm going to go ahead and wash a couple dishes while this is going on. Good morning, everybody. Nice to see you today. Bringing back big hair. <laughs> Ash is like, police, police. Rosie, the 80s call, they want their hair back. Holy crap, did you do the saran wrap thing is... Gee, well, I've got a big, I got a big thing on top up here, just sitting up yonder right there. So, how's the bouffant? You like that, huh? Bringing it back one at a time. You got to have confidence to be on, right? All right. Let's get this cleaned up a little bit. We're gonna give these one more shake of that when they come out the sugar. Let's go ahead and get cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> Feel the love. Feel the bullshit. Feel the focus. <sighs> if it's sunny, I'll see you guys outside this afternoon. Meanwhile, I'm going to grab all of the uh, Halloween crap and get that down. Get that done. Let's go ahead and scrape this. This thing is brilliant also. Yes, it's a cross-dresser. Yes. A cross-dresser with tits. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and get that on there. And remember to my mods, I don't care what people say about me. If they're tearing or somebody else in the chat, that's a different story. Just show them the gate. Okay. Get this cleaned up really well. This thing really works beautifully. I'm going to put the oven up there. Good, we got 425 on there, that's what we need. This just does a brilliant job on here. Uh, smash you. Yeah, we'll make a pumpkin pie. No question, Shalom. If you think I'm a cross-dresser, you know. <laughs> Most cross-dressers don't have 38, uh, 38 triple D's, okay? All right, here we go. I'm going to wash up a few dishes. Trick or treat. Go ahead and wash a few dishes here. Uh, yeah, we got the great Douglas Fairbanks in the house. Oh, you're making pumpkin muffins later. That's cool. I like to make, uh, as we get closer to Thanksgiving, I'm going to make a pumpkin a pumpkin cheesecake. Or a, a cheese, uh, using cream cheese for the pumpkin pie. I'm going to make a pumpkin pie, but a little bit different. All right, guys, they were just chilling down. The King Arthur recipe suggested that you chill these down for a half hour because they'll make a more tender scone. Who in the hell knows, right? We'll give it a try. We'll give it about 10 minutes or so. Meanwhile, I'll just clean up so Missy Jen doesn't come back and blow a tube here. Okay, 
breakfast will be a blunt mango juice and some ruffles. There you go, Stewie. Sounds like a good bachelor breakfast to me. All right. My dinner last night was salad and ramen noodles and some shrimp. How about that? This machine runs on ramen noodles. Oh, Rosie, for fuck's sake, are you kidding me? Your ramen is garbage. Garbage. Uh, living alone. <laughs> Oh, it kind of makes it easy to live stream with the, uh, you don't have to set up. I was thinking about uh, making some chili tonight. I'm not sure. Uh, cleaning up a little bit here. Make sure if you're going to be a baker, you get a good set of wooden spoons. Okay, these things are... Incredibly good to have. Nice wooden spoons. Okay. Hello, in terms of being British. Oh my. Hello, love. How are you? Welcome into my kitchen. It's cooking with Rosie and baking today with big hair. It's like Ash would tell you, bringing back the 80s, one hairstyle at a time. <laughs> oh, you have to eat on the cheese, huh? Party Central. I got to get down. I got to go out to the garage today and get all the containers of uh, Halloween stuff down. Everybody will tell you we do a big time Halloween here. All right. about done clean up. Is that Wendy? Which Wendy? Diane's Wendy? Which Wendy we got? Ladies night Wendy? Step forward and be identified Wendy. Yeah, I usually have uh, I usually have the big laptop desktop in here with a webcam. Today I'm just using the uh, today I'm just using the uh, I the uh, Samsung Galaxy. Wendy from used to be Dave's. Oh, okay, different Wendy. Okay, I thought it was Wendy from uh, Ladies Night. I didn't want anybody to get triggered. <laughs> Stewie's like, light the fire, baby. Light the fire. Just about done cleaning. Hey, Annette, how are you? Yeah, you got mirror image because I'm using the backside of the, anytime you're using your cell phone camera to do video and you're doing a selfie, everything is going to be reversed. Only the forward facing camera on the backside of your camera is the one that gives a true image, okay? A lot of people don't understand that. 
they're confused as to they think something's wrong with their camera. It's not. It takes too much engineering though to optically correct that side and turn that around. So if you want to pay two thousand dollars for a camera or a cell phone camera, then you can do that. You can give one son of a bitch to focus, it would be a good thing. Alright, one last thing to clean up here. And then we're going to put our scones into the oven, okay? They should be nice and chilled now. How is it? Yep, this girl's, I'm bringing Big Hair back one video at a time. Okay. Put that there. I think we're all done. Our cleanup. Alright, a couple more minutes, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just. Uh, clean up a minute in the restroom and I will be right back, okay? Welcome into the Rancho Kitchen. We're going to give these one more shake of turbinado sugar too, alright? Couple raisins. have a cup of coffee. I think we are all like super clean here. Let's go ahead and take our hormones here. When have already taken them this morning? I don't friggin' remember. Actually, what do I take? I take a magnesium, I take a calcium, I take a baby aspirin, I take a fish oil, and I take a spironolactone, which is a testosterone blocker, because I'm on injectable estradiol. years on that jive. All right. Loving the, I know. What do you think, Wendy? The big hair, honey. I'm bringing it back one, uh, one hang out at a time. Yeah, Spirano Lactine. What's this? Uh, aspirin just keeps your blood a little on the thin side, so you don't ever have blood clots and stuff. It's no guarantee, but one baby aspirin a day keeps the blood just slightly thin, so it's an anti-clotting. Uh, now you're going to make me have to run to Dead Dave for a cappuccino. That's right. I need a cup of coffee, like right now. I'm going to have to put a fresh pot on, or the Missy will go crazy. She doesn't like to come home to have breakfast and no coffee. Here. I have fish oil. Yeah, I take the fish oil every day. Calcium, magnesium. Magnesium is very important for 
nerve conductivity and muscles so you don't get muscle cramps. I used to get terrible leg cramps. Once I started taking magnesium and calcium, they all but went away. Now remember, the heart is the biggest muscle in your body. And if you're not getting enough magnesium in your diet, what is a heart attack? It's just a spasm, a charley horse in your heart. You don't want that to happen, okay? Take your magnesium supplement. There's a doctor called uh, Dr. Napoli that's on YouTube. Did a very interesting video. His theory is most uh, unexplained heart attacks come from a magnesium deficiency when the heart starts to go into, you know, starts to go into contractions like a Charlie horse on your leg. <clears throat> Make sure you take a calcium and a magnesium supplement every day. The calcium helps to unbond the magnesium to get maximum use out of it, okay? It's like a, it's like a catalyst for the magnesium. You need that. Okay. Hi, Uff. Here we go. My baby Uff is in the house. All right, it's time to take our scones out of the freezer now. And we're going to pop them into the oven. But first, we need to put one more coating of sugar. Here is our scones. Remove them from the oven. Let's top them with sugar again and we're good to go. Alright, let's hit these with a little more sugar. This is called turbinado. It's Moreno Mexican sugar. It's like a rougher cut to diamond crystal sugar. Okay, I'm going to pop these. This oven is at 425 degrees. Okay, here goes our scones. I'm going to put them right on the baking sheet too. Okay. I've got the convection on, and how long are we going to bake these bad boys? 20 to 25 minutes. When you pull one away from the other, it should look baked. Twenty to twenty-five minutes, so we can have a cup of coffee and chill out and relax a bit. Uh, not 10 hours. Oh, hell no. You'll have uh, cinders when you pull that out of the oven. Uh, 10 hours. Can you imagine that? Slow bake for 10 hours. Holy crap. Oh, boy. Jeremy, you're funny. All right, I don't know what we're going to for dinner tonight. Do I have any spaghetti and noodles? I don't know. We could have some spaghetti. We didn't buy a lot of stuff. Let me microwave this for Alright. Those scones. Yeah, they're gonna be good. I think they're gonna be great. They're gonna be nice rising. They're gonna be very fluffy because we did not overwork the dough. That's a very important thing. Once you get that into the ball and it's all holding together and you roll it out, don't overwork that, okay? Because the more you overwork that, the harder it's going to be for that to be fluffy and nice. Homemade strawberry. Yeah, we got some jam. Somebody sent this this to us. I think uh, who in the hell? Joseph Kane or somebody sent this Schwartau. Schwartau. It's a uh, forest fruit spread. Me, I just like scones with butter. 
It's already got a little bit of sugar on top. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, they're already starting to look really good in there. All right, let's have a cup of coffee. I'm going to give us morning can and raise it. Why are you wearing a pearl? I'm not. This is not a pearl necklace, honey. This is not. This is a, uh, it's called a beach choker. Okay. It's like uh, little bits of shell and stuff there. What am I, Mrs. Cleaver? Smell like a pet shop. There you go. Up, I hope you're doing good, babe. Nice to see you. Welcome on this fine Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon, depending where you are. Get my coffee. I woke up with a boner this morning. There you go, Carlos. Welcome to my world, huh? <laughs> the day I don't wake up with a boner is going to be a sad day, right? <laughs> Ash is like TMI. <laughs> uh, Pyre just dropped a video on Sam, huh? One of those drama queens write me yesterday overnight. How am I going to get my channel monetized? Like, good luck. YouTube doesn't monetize this kind of stuff. Need to bust your bubble, baby. <sighs> All right, let's make sure we got everything on track. For best texture, place the scones in the freezer for 30 minutes. Chilling the scones relaxes the gluten, which makes the scones more tender and allows them to rise higher. It also chills the fat, which makes the scones a bit flakier. While the scones are chilling, preheat to bake 20 to 25 minutes. When you pull one away from there, it should look baked all the way through. The edges should look wet or unbaked. Serve warm. They're delicious as is, but add butter or jam if you like. It scorps. You can also add cheese, dried herbs, crumbled bacon. to make try jammy bits sweet little morsels of fruit puree huh. you can make them with white chocolate cherry and pecan what else you can use chocolate chip scones double chocolate chunk Toasted coconut lime scones, roasted strawberry and pistachio, lemon blueberry, triple cinnamon. You can also use parmesan, cheddar, basil, sun-dried tomato scones. Looks like you can do anything. Looks like you can do anything with them, huh? <clears throat> There's Ellie, King Author Flower Shop. There we go. Flower sells jammy bits. There we go. There's Ellie to the rescue once again. And thank you, Ellie. I ordered. Ellie gave me a really good link yesterday. She contacted me. I was in uh, SoCal on that way home. She's like uh, email urgent. So when I finally got to the uh, when I finally got to the rest stop and pulled over. She had sent a link for uh, a nice six-quart KitchenAid professional mixer. I was really happy about that. Really happy. I ordered it yesterday. 
so I can finally deep six that Cuisinart. I wouldn't even give that to the, I wouldn't even donate that to the Salvation Army. It's going to be a game changer for me. I'm really happy about that. It was a good deal. Yeah, and if Ellie tells you it's a good deal, and it was also on a six pay too. So that was kind of nice. Make it more affordable for me to be on a six pay. D Do! You're going to be in style. I know I will. Six quart, it's really the big, uh, the big job. It's a professional series. I got it in stainless steel, look, the brushed nickel, which is nice. I still have to order the cabinets for here. Uh, he can fix it and use it. Yeah. Yeah, who do I give it to? Send the other one to Drew. No, it's too heavy to shipping. Nah, the shipping would be a killer on it. Drew can't fix it anyway, so. Yeah, it's going to sure, look sharp sitting on the counter. It would cost me about $50 to ship this thing down to uh, Drew. If he wants to pay the shipping, I could fix it and make it good, but you need the thing's not grabbing up above. So. Hey, Janice, how are you? It's going to look sharp sitting on the counter. That's right. Let's take a little peek. Oh, yeah, baby, the stones are rising. Yay! I got the contour silver. That's what I'm telling you, D-Dub. A lot of people do content. They do live streams and stuff, and they have all the hours and all the watch time, and they don't get monetized because uh, YouTube wants content that teaches somebody how to do something, show somebody something they haven't seen before. See that uh, drama has a very short half-life. After, after two or three days, nobody goes back and watches it anymore. But if you teach somebody how to make a scone real time, then you have some content that endures, and that's the kind of stuff that YouTube wants to uh, account towards monetization things. Because you know we have uh, three channels, and all three channels are monetized here. So. Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't care about it. It's fine. I mean, it's different strokes for different folks. Some people want to be, some people don't. Some people want to work very hard. Because the nice, the little secret of that monetization now is, hey, Hazel! Yeah, teach a man to bake bread. That's right. The nice thing about monetization now because so many fewer channels are monetized now, the pie is being split amongst many, 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 many. It's probably been reduced 70% the number of people that are monetized. So therefore, the amount of money that's being earned is much higher than it was six months ago. So, okay. That's not a bad thing. In other words, you're splitting the pie into many, many smaller, into less parts, so makes it good. And like I say, a lot of people don't, they're not into the monetization. They're in it for just the fun and the friends, and I like that too. Monetization for me was just a byproduct of having a channel, that's all. You know, with lots and lots and lots of videos. Is that a ghost? Yeah, I've got a ghost back there. I've got to pull down the thing. We've got to pull it into high gear. Wednesday is going to be all about decorating the rancho, and then Wednesday night we'll give you the show. Yeah, nice to see you, Diamond. Yeah, King Arthur Flower uh, has a great website. I like. I bought some of their uh, really good uh, flour for bread. Some of the reviews on the scones, these are amazing. Placing them in the freezer made a huge difference with the texture after baking them. I always love making scones, but they always turn out kind of spongy. These were different. Normally yeast. Somebody made red jalapeno pancetta kimchi scones. There you go, Nicole. <laughs> oh man, that must have been hot as hell. Somebody added some dried coconut and half a teaspoon of coconut flavor. 
King Arthur flour and other products. Know your oven temperature. Oh yeah, that's what I gotta do, Ellie. I've gotta get the oven. Uh, I gotta get the oven uh, tuned up. And the stove. I gotta get the guy in to do a tune-up on this Fisher Paykel. It's been four years I've been using it, and I haven't done anything to it. So Ellie's like, you gotta get the thing tuned up. Chocolate chips go sweet meadow. How you doing, babe? Good morning to you. Sweet meadow, sweet meadow. I'm bringing the big hair back. One live stream at a time. <laughs> Call a certified Fisher Pay Cal person. Exactly. We have a um, our our Fisher Pay Cal servicer is Asin's Appliances here. So. They're the ones that come out. When I first had this thing and there was a little issue with uh, not lighting the light when I turned on the gas for one of the burners on top. And I first called the company, I was, Asins. I said, I got a, I got a, I got an uh, oven with a cooktop on it and I can't, it's not lighting properly. And they're like, look, it's going to be about a week and a half till we can get somebody out there to look at it. I'm like, shit, it's under warranty. The guy's like, what kind of uh, what kind of oven do you have? I said, it's a Fisher Pay Cal convention oven. He's like, we'll have somebody out there in a couple hours. <laughs> How was that for fast? I smell something good here. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> The big hair. I did a lot of shopping at our American Food Imports. And that's nice. Yeah, we got Halloween's the next big thing. We do a big time Halloween thing here on the Rancho. Yeah, big hair, big boobs, and loud mouth. That's it. That about says it all, huh? Ellie's like, yeah, Bon jo have John Bon Jovi call you for a date. <laughs> Missy Jen's back! Woo! Porgy! Are you, are you Hobblecock? Are you Hobblecock? Alright, Missy Jen is back. Got some dog food. Small dog. Small doob treats. Got some English muffins. Oh, I'm gonna have a boxy charm opening today too. Yeah, it's gonna be backwards. Thank you, Jamie. There it is. There, my first, my first boxy charms came. Gonna be opening that today. Ship to Rosie O'Kelly. Yay. Ah, oh, it smells so good in here. Missy Jen got a thing of turkey, Frank, so when Domino and Millie Vanilli come over, she'll tell you, I never feed those dogs. Really? <laughs> I don't know why those dogs always come here. I never feed them. Oh, you got a cup of corn. Woo! There we go, baby. Thank you. Got a couple corn there. Love my corn. Got a couple corn. There's carrots. Uh, just about time for stone. Yeah. I know you're hungry. We haven't eaten today yet. Yeah, I didn't have one beer last night. Get paper towels. Oh, 
Missy Jen, everybody said hi. Let's check our scones. Our scones are looking absolutely delicious. Those scones are looking good, Jen. We'll set up over here. Stand by your man. Sucks. We're going to set up over here for breakfast, guys. We'll bring you over here. We're going to try the scones. we got about five more minutes in. Uh, ashes around, baby. Ashes around. Where in the hell is uh, Oda Mae Brown been? I haven't seen her in a while. She's the one I got me uh, linked up with the Boxy Charms. I haven't seen her around. CVS promised on the 15th. Oh, you got yours on the 15th. I only signed up later in the month, so. Yeah, I must get on my knees and bang and bang and bang and I'm so confident. That's it. Alright, well, let's get ready to eat. We got some scones gonna be thrown down on the table in a minute. I'm trying to get in the post office. so I can actually now see. Hello, Wendy and Hazel. And I see Jeremy Billy and Bobby. And Tara. Susie, Uff. Mm -hmm. We got Wendy. Oh, you ran my pink How do you like my new glasses? Gosh, what a, what a cam hole. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh -uh. Yeah, they're nice and pink. And they're not too obvious either. So like the the ones out before, high Scottish and Ash. That's not bad, Jen. Ten um, thirty we're having breakfast. I had the red ones that were like a little bit more uh in appearance, but this say you can barely see like that. You barely see. Hello Douglas. Douglas! Thank you, Wendy. Mm, hugs, love, and kisses to each and every one Great of Douglas. you. Great, Douglas. Missy Jen's like, shut up, let's eat. Yeah, I haven't eaten anything yesterday. When I came home, I had a chocolate bar. That, uh, that was about it. Set you guys up over Guten Tag, Rugix. And. Let's take a look at these, Jim. Hey, Vinny G in the house. Vinny G, I how love, you doing, Vinny? Our scones are Vinny. done. I love Vinny. I love Vinny's Everybody house. loves Vinny. Oh, I love the soothing. You should have a radio show, Boy, Vinny. Boy, Rosie, how are you, Rosie? You should have a radio show. You are so soothing. Look certain. at these scones. Look at this, Jim. Oh, wow. Well, I, I got a door for the people. Look now. at these. Are you kidding? This is the main event here. Look at these babies. Look at these babies right here. 
Vinny's Peru scones. There they are. Who's all there now? Delicious. We're giving you the drone flight. Who's not talking to me now? I don't know. Spider Lady's here. Jeremy. Ash is saying hi. Our girl Tara. Don't they look awesome? Beautiful scones. We're going to let these cool down a minute. Let Missy Jen wash her hands. We'll I'm sit down. It's cold outside. Your glasses look great. Yeah, we used the first day. Vinny, how are you, mate? Nice to see you. I missed you the last week being in San Diego. No, no TBC. We're going to do the drone flyover. And that, my friends, is scones. Don't they look awesome, Rouge? Nice and brown, where you want them to be. Raisin currant scones. I want to snatch one and ate it. Yeah, I've missed, missed hanging out with Vinny. Can't wait to hang out with Vinny. We got the great Douglas Fairchild in the house. We go ahead. We're going to get set up over here now. Now we're going to try these scones here. Let's get the light on here. We got some butter. Jen, I don't know if you want jam or if you want to try this. This uh, Schwartow. No jam. No jam. Okay. Just pure with butter. Just pure with butter. Okay, there you go. So let's I get this. I do not want to taint the flavor. Let me get you two nice scones here. Nice boys there. Two big beauties. There we go. How do they look? Huh? There they are for the Missy. Nicely baked underneath. All right. Get that set up for Jen. They look good, huh? They look pretty darn good. Stand by your man. Stand by your man, doo doo. Vinny's like Rosie's bringing big hair back. One hang out at a time, baby. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right, let's try to get that set up so that doesn't fall over. Over there. All right. Trying to get myself in the picture a little bit. Hello everybody, welcome into the Rancho Kitchen. I'm going to rip off, I'm afraid. I'm from my, okay, take care Wendy. Take care honey. Uh, cream, yeah, I don't have any cream, Vinny. This is America, baby. Vinny's like, Rosie, you've got no class at all. Class, not glasses. You didn't like my glasses. You thought I looked like a Yenta for Miami Beach. Looked like uh, Robert De Niro in Casino at the end of it, right? With his big, thick ass glasses. Uh, in America, we do butter. That's it. Tell him, Ellie. All right, Jen, go ahead, have a seat, butter it up, and give it, a, give it a whirl. They sure look delicious. Nice and tender and flaky. Ellie approved. Let's 
I haven't seen Domino and Millie today. No, they... Huh? They're under lockdown. I left the gate open last night, and then they went home, and then I closed the gate this morning. No kitchen table repair today. None today. We'll have. We'll, we'll be in the shop this week, though. We're going to finish up the uh, Magnavox console. We got to do some cosmetic work on it. Uh, other than that, it's good to go. Missy Jen, there's your butter. I think Jess is keeping them either or, keeping them under wraps, or, or huh? maybe they're asleep. I know that uh, she's in San Diego right now. She, we were both in. We were in San Diego. Yeah, she's in San Diego. Really? Right now. Yeah, she's got some. She's got something to do. To do. She'll be back. She'll tomorrow. be back tomorrow. Don't worry. All right, we'll put a little butter on here. Cut it off there. there See, again. I know everything that goes on in the hood. Yeah, Jen knows everything in the hood. We're going to let her get a purchase on that. Uh, I'll buy you roasted corn. There we go. Yeah, Domino's missing in action. I'm sure he'll be around. I, uh, th I think they stayed up long, so they're going to sleep in. Yes, I went to bed about... Uh, 11.30, and uh, Millie was on the back porch here, so. All right, Missy Jen's going to give these a whirl. Our raisin current scones. Very nice. We started about, what, 9.15, so it didn't take long to bang these out. Betty Crackpot, I mean Crocker, in the kitchen. You got a real gob full of scone, didn't you there? Mm -hmm. You got it upside down too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's me. Hello! I never forgot your... Condition, condi that's it. Yeah, it's very delicious. Everything well. about vintage audio is condition, condition, condition. Unless that faceplate is pristine, don't buy it. What do you think? It's very delicious. What I really like is the fact that <clears throat> it doesn't fall apart. It actually stays together. Say that's a winner. Hmm? Yeah. Didn't definitely. take long to do. Half a cup of butter, two and three quarter cups of flour, a little bit of sugar, some currants, some raisins and milk, two eggs. Yes, Good to go. I know. Nice and tender too. I approve. I think putting it in the freezer for 20 minutes really helped to improve the tenderness of it. There's nothing tough. There's nothing tough about these at all. They're very flaky. Mmm. Thank you, Pam. Jen is not impressed. <laughs> she enjoys them. I'm impressed. I just, I just come back from going doing the world tour. I just time. got back from shopping, so. So I'm, just, I'm see how flaky out. they are inside. Benefits from freezer. There it is. Hey Tucker, how are you, sweetie? Hope you're feeling better. I know, Stewie. I love you too, baby. Yeah, if you enjoy the content, we got 102 people on. If you hit the thumbs up button, it'll make Missy Jen very happy. Greetings back to Germany. Georgie, from, there you are. I knew you'd uh, show yeah, up when yeah. there's food to be had. There's Georgie. <laughs> Sticking his head up there. Uh, I make orange and cranberry scones. Yeah, these things are delicious. Mm. Mm. 
Loaded with raisins. Oh, making vidies. Okay. We didn't make Tucker's news video. Meanwhile, on the beaches of San Diego, Rosie O'Kelly and Missy Jen continue to enjoy their vacation. <laughs> you like craisins, huh? Condition, condition, condition. Very good. Really, it did turn out nice, didn't it? Very special breakfast for us today. I gotta get down the box of Halloween stuff today. Wednesday's gonna be all day decorating and everything. This week we also have, uh, hey Nicole, thank you honey. This week we also have uh, Dollar Tree Russian food roulette. We're going to have that coming up this week. We got some kind of weird pickle thing. We got sardines. Something else we got. Some, uh, some kind of beef stew stuff. We got a pork chop that's been sitting around a couple weeks here. <laughs> <laughs> hey Drew, how are you? Yeah, where's that hard reef hanging? Hey, Hi, Kathy, how are you, honey? Kathy doesn't like my reef. They're hanging in the living room so everybody can see when I do a hangout there. Pork chops. Who do you like in the World Series? Um... I'm an American leaguer, and being in the San Francisco Bay Area, it's anybody but the Dodgers, so there you go. That's the uh, San Francisco Giants' bitter rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. Hi, Nicole. You don't do Halloween. I turn all the lights on. Keep quiet. Mm. Tucker, I hope you're feeling better, babe. My big hair should make Tucker's news. What do you think? Bringing big hair back. <laughs> Delicious scones, nicely done on the bottom. Yeah, I'm glad you're feeling better, Tucker. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you're going to dress up like a shark. There we go. I guess I'll be a witch again. Mostly naked, which Nicola said, Oh, for fuck's sake, Rosie, why am I not surprised? <laughs> we doing a hangout, Halloween hangout the night before Halloween, Halloween Eve. Our uh, birds will be around. He did good. He was on a live stream with Tara Thursday night and me. And then he was uh, he was good on yesterday morning's live stream from coming up from San Diego. So I'm happy so far. Once he stopped that steel reserve. I have. Mm -hmm.
Did I have problems? Yeah, before? YouTube has all kinds of people. I have problems not with memory. No. I'm forgetting people. YouTube names. allows all kinds of people. People forget that uh, YouTube is situated in uh, in the San Francisco, just south of San Francisco in San Bruno. It's a very, 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 very liberal place. And they bring all of those values into uh, into YouTube. And expensive. That's it. What do you think? Delicious? Huh? Yeah, it's very good. Excellent. Well, we I can just use the A plus. Wrap yeah. these up, and they'll be good for a couple of days. Well, and wrap them up, and good for the counter. Beautiful there. Yeah, it's really nice here. Missy Jen and I certainly don't agree with <laughs> San Francisco politics. That's for damn sure. There's Georgie, he was all hobblecocked. Hmm? Georgie, are you hobblecocked? Hmm? Hey, Kelly. Missy Jen's infusion is uh, the 26th, which is this coming up Friday. We'll yeah. be on the road early, 5 o'clock, 5.30, we'll be on the road. Yeah, get, get an early start on the infusion, and it'll take... You'll be able to see Missy Jen on the Green Mile once again. She loves riding the Green Mile. Yeah, past Dr. Mabuza's... Uh, she loves the Green Mile. Secret Laboratory. Jen doing good. Yeah, she's doing really good. She's looking forward to her next infusion. Yeah, she's starting I'm, to run out of gas a little I'm bit. I'm running out of poopy, poopy, poopy gas. So I'm looking forward to getting the next infusion. Why would you not see... They would not see... Is making videos on video or not? I don't even know what that means. Yep, she's doing good. Yeah, Nicole, you have a piece of Elvis waiting for you at window number three. Thank you, William. What is society? I don't even know what Eduardo is on about. Eduardo, this is not the existentialism or dialectic materialism philosophy channel, nor is it Immanuel Kant's critique of pure and practical reason. We're making fucking scones here and eating them, okay? You want to go philosophize, brother? Do it on your dime. <laughs> That's it. Stewie's like, I don't watch. I don't. I don't like. I don't watch. I'm damn lucky. We all got Stewie on the stream a lot. He makes it a lot of fun. Julie, we need fodder. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Elf's like, yeah, we're watching. We're making friggin' scones here, right? We're not philosophizing. Take it from somebody that majored in philosophy, okay? That ain't what this is about. This is about titties and scones. That's what this is about. That's funny as hell. 
<laughs> I was talking about something. I don't know. So, Rosie, when you're in Vegas, I can write it down for my day off. Yeah, it's going to be the second Thursday through Sunday. We're coming in on Thursday. Okay, the second Thursday in December. We've already booked the hotel down there. And, uh, yeah, the second Thursday through Sunday in December. So, so we hope to see you down there. And then Friday night we'll hit the, uh, Thursday night we'll hit the, uh, where do we usually go to the, uh, no, I mean on Thursday night for dinner. Where do we usually go the first night? Uh, Main Street Station down there for buffet the first night. Yeah. We usually wheel, Main Street, yeah, the first night we wheeled down Main to Street Main Street Station. Station. Really good buffet. Really good, uh, good buffet for the first night. It's not super, but it's not bad. It's definitely in the wheelhouse of budget. Can I take Thursday and Friday? Can I take... Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Yeah. Of course you can. Now, I hate to disappoint you, Kelly. There ain't probably going to be an Elvis down there this year. I know that's going to break your heart, but uh, Elvis is over the road. And uh, just for the record, he did run that pass yesterday, Dead Man's Pass there. He did do that <coughs> yesterday. He does drive an automatic. And uh, Narsay has been guiding him. Yesterday he did 540 miles of uh, travel. He's getting a lot of over-the-road time there. Um, now I'm glad he's pulling money. The, vid the videos. <laughs> Ellie's like the video. <laughs> Ellie's like the videos will be watchable. So <clears throat> that's funny as hell. Uh, it's funny. Forgive me if I don't watch it. <laughs> I'm just saying, Nicole, but uh, to be able to earn a paycheck can turn some people around and, uh, you know, no time for nonsense. And every day he's putting a lot of miles on the truck. So. Yeah, that's right. We wanted him to be productive, and there it is. So, how long will he last? I have no idea how long he will last. I know he's already said he's sure as hell is not going to run in winter time. So he wants to take off in winter time. Of course, he's got a long way to go for uh, the CDL. You've got to uh, have. 30 hours or something like that. You've got to also be able to back into a dock. You've got to be able to angle back. You know, there's all kinds of requirements that make it very difficult. Yeah, he's taking that. He's, he's, Narce is a certified trainer, so he is uh, training Elvis. All right. Well, Missy Jen, it's getting on 11 o'clock. I think we're going to close it down. When, this, it, when and if the sun comes out this afternoon, I'll see you guys on the back deck. Uh, yeah, don't get too excited. I mean, uh, the shit could fall apart. It's like if you go crush a couple things, then your shit can, and that's the end of it. So you got to pass the physical, too. They look at your weight. We've done... Over my years, hundreds of Class A, Class B physicals, bus drivers and shit. And when you're overweight, you got to go through all kinds of extra testing and stuff. So, you know, they might put you on a six month. Uh, they can give you three months. They can give you one month if they want. So normally it's two years if you're healthy. So and the requirements are much tougher. If you want to see what the uh, licensing requirement Go to the uh, DOT website, Certified Medical Examiner, uh, and you can check that out. There's uh, the uh, four pages of the uh, physical exam. Actually, it's uh, it's almost six yeah, pages now. Uh, also, it's a sleep apnea test. Sleep apnea test. Yeah, you need to have that. So, All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up. I want to thank you for being on one hour and 34 minutes. Thank you, Nicole. Uh Elf, good to see you, honey. I'm so glad to see you on my chats. Kelly, Gmail me. My Gmail address is on the um, 
on my about page, okay? I can make it like new at gmail.com. Make sure that you gmail me so I can get you my phone number, okay? He's not into women, yeah, so <laughs> good to see you. All right, everybody, thanks so much for being along. And we're going to close it out. Yeah, I have Twitter. I have Twitter. It's Rosie O'Kelly1 on there. Missy Jen does more I of the don't Facebook. Have, I don't do Facebook. I don't she have the Facebook, Twitter so. thing. I do the Twitter. I, I do the Instagram. Instagram, oh. I have nothing. Okay, so we'll see you guys. Just hit me up on Twitter. I'm just on YouTube, and that's it. She's a Facebook queen. I'm just on YouTube, right, guys. that's it. Thanks Ooh. for being along. Mm -hmm.